everybody, Mark Spec the Comics, and I'm back. This time I got a really cool monthly beer package. Came in today. I'm gonna to show you what beer I got for the month, also with some recent comic pickups. If you want to see what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. So when I do put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. Um, so today's unboxing is going to be a beer and comics unboxing. I haven't done one of these in a while because my uh, I haven't read my subscription. But um, luckily, I ended up getting a three-month renewal for Father's Day. So the beer finally came in yesterday. Having some time tonight to make a video. So I'm going to unbox the beer, show you what I got, show you some recent pickups, and we're just going to chill. So today's beer, nice little local Samuel Adams, porch rocker, lemon rattler, nice light yellowish color, lager, it's pretty good, it's light beer, a little citrusy, get that nice little uh, hint of lemon at the end. So that's today's beer, and it's you know it's fairly light, four and a half percent, which is expected. So uh, that's the beer for what we're drinking tonight. I'm gonna use my handy Mark Spectre Comics custom blade. My buddy Scott Porter's Hide. If you haven't checked out his channel, check that out. Shout out to my buddy Scott. I'll put the link down in the description. All right. So. I said, whoa, <laughs> I'm not going to reshoot that, it's going to be one take, <laughs> element of surprise, so, big package, if you haven't seen one of these videos before, I usually get, I want to say it's four different beers, typically from two different breweries, it's all micro breweries, uh, there has been some months where it's been like, European microbreweries and um, uh, European breweries and uh, domestic. So we'll see what we what we get today. I'm expecting it's going to be just domestic. Put this to the side. Uh, we'll make it much easier that way, you know. All right. So, got some pamphlets, just like I showed previously. And uh, what do we got? So, it looks like it, yep, it is It is domestic. So, we got a Florida Beer Company and Bent River Brewing Company out of Rock Island, Illinois. And then the Florida Beer Company out of Cape Canaveral. Um, neither one I've heard of before. So, uh... We're gonna get some uh, beers I've never tried before, so that's it. That's that's what I'm looking for, you know. And uh, it tells you the beers inside. So let's check these out. Have a little sip of beer. Uh, all right. So second take. <laughs> a little bit of uh, some uh, communication issues, so I had to redo this real quick. So all right. So we're back. Continuing on with the beer and the comics. All right. So, uh, drinking my nice Samuel Adams. And let's get to the beers. So like I've done before, I'll start off with a couple of beers, show off some comics, and then I'll finish off that way, all right? First beer. Hurricane Reef IPA. That's pretty cool. Nice little pale IPA, a pale ale. Not bad. Pretty cool label. Pretty cool label. Um, six and a half percent. Nice. All right. And me. I love IPAs. I've been in a big IPA kick about the last year and a half or so. For the longest time, I was not a big IPA fan, and it's been just growing on me, so uh, I'm excited about that. So, 
Uh, second beer. Let's see what we got. Undercurrent. Oh, another IPA. There we go. Undercurrent IPA. That's actually a pretty cool label. It's almost like a, like a tattoo. And uh, this is from Bent River Brewery out of Illinois. And uh, it says, let's see, this almost looks like it's unfiltered. You can tell, almost, it almost has that hue to it without even pouring. Um, and this is 6.8%. Cool. All right. All right, so um, let's get to a couple of books, right? All right, so the first book I'm going to show, I'm going to show a little indie, Jeff Lemire's uh, Sweet Tooth. This is issue number 40, issue number 40. And uh, it's the final issue of the series. And you know me, I like to collect final issues in series. They're uh, very low print. And this is a great, great series. Um, obviously, the shows on Netflix have not yet had the chance to watch it. But I heard it's pretty good. So uh, that's the first book. Second book. I ended up picking this up at, um, I think it was an antique shop. I had to pick this up for the cover. Lobo to Duck number one. <laughs> it's just a great cover. Look at that thing. This is from uh, Amalgam, Amalgam Comics. I don't believe this uh, publisher is around anymore. I believe this came out in 94, 93, something like that. But uh, it was $3, not bad. I picked that up just for the cover. All right, have a little sip of beer. Oh, hell yeah, great cover. Deadpool, issue number five. This is the uh, Garbage Pail Kids, um, I guess, homage. You can see closely it has the, uh, the peel sticker there. It says peel here. Really cool. Uh, I think it's my third or fourth copy. I pick these up for like cover price whenever I find them. So uh, I was happy to pick this up. This was actually, I bought this at an LCS. What do we got? Next book. Oh, this is at, um, ended up getting this at another one of my LCSs. Uh, the comic um, owner goes to a lot of shows and, you know, meets the artist creators and so forth and gets their signatures. And he usually sells them for like five or ten bucks. So uh, this is my second copy of this book for the first time signed. And uh, this is uh, First Sleepwalker, Sleepwalker issue number one. Uh, this one was $12. And it was signed by, I believe this is the writer, but it's signed right at the top in bronze, uh, Brit Levins. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'll probably end up sending this off to, you know, get pressed and then send it off to CBCS to get it verified. When, you know, I'm trying to compile a bunch of signature books and then just send them off in one shot. So um, this will be one of the books I'll end up eventually sending off. Um, picked this next book up at, I think it was an, another antique shop. This is uh, Bloodshot issue number seven. So, yep. And then this is the uh, first appearance of Ninjak or Ninja K. <laughs> uh, 50 cents. So you can't, you can't go wrong with Bloodshot, early Bloodshot. So that was cool. Um, and, uh, Back to the other LCS that I talked about where I picked up the sign books. This is, um, picked up another one. Batman Chronicles, issue number one. And if you turn this sideways, you might recognize this signature. There's only one artist I know that has this long, drawn out signature like this. And it's one of my favorite artists of all time. It's Bill Sienkiewicz. Hey, 10 bucks for that. Pretty sick. Um, all right, so those are the books I showed up for now. Let's go back to the beers. Uh, all right, all right. Last two beers. Gotta wipe off the dust a little bit. It's been sitting there for a while. Gotta clean these bad boys off. All right, last two beers. This is, oh, this is a stout, nice, 
un no, Uncommon Stout by uh, Bent River Brewing. Oatmeal Stout with coffee. And it is 6.4%. Very cool. I love stouts. Like I said, going with the IPAs and stouts, those are my two big types of beers right now that I've been drinking. Anything interesting I find with stouts, I try to pick it up. So I'm very interested in trying that out. And then the last beer, this is going to be a light. It's an amber lager. This is, <laughs> I like the actual uh, license plate on it. It's pretty cool. Sunshine State, Florida lager. Nice. I'm guessing this is going to be, oh, 5%. Okay. A little bit stronger than that. But usually lagers are like, you know, 3 to 6% depending on what it is. But uh, cool. Very cool. So those are the four beers. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried any of these breweries or any of these beers specifically. And, um, you know, I'm going to drop one more book for you guys. And uh, Steve's like, you know, you never, should, you never pick up any DC books. You, know, you never get any DC books. So this one's for you, Steve. Finish off with a DC book. DC Comics Presents, issue number 84. And if you know this cover artist, you, you know, you'll be able to pinpoint this one right off the bat by looking at the art. This is Jack King Kirby. This is uh, Jack Kirby's last artwork on DC. I was really happy to pick this up. I think I paid $5 for it. Uh, you can see it right there. Has his little signature there, Kirby. So there you go. That's the end of the you know beer and comics. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Mark Stuck the Comics. Out.